This is ZNS Total Sports. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Monday. The first ever high school soccer nationals kicked off today over at the Roscoe A. L. Davies Field. The historic tournament pits schools from the private and public sectors in a battle to see who will reign supreme and win the national crown. Play today will qualify teams for the semifinal matches on Friday. The championship games will be played on Saturday. The Bahamas Football Association has invested a large sum of money into this event. Um, the Ministry of Youth Sports and Culture and the Ministry of Education are attempting to assist them. Um, there's going to be even more assistance next year because you know the, the clamoring voices that want more teams in. That's going to happen next year. And for that to happen, we're going to have to bring, you know, really bring it to the table for um, the Bahamas Football Association. I don't think we did uh, a good enough job as a sports unit to support um, soccer in the Bahamas. What we're doing now is attempting to do that. And I guarantee you, I can guarantee the Bahamian public that you're going to see soccer rise to a different level now because you have schools, you have a, a national program uh, where you have a national championship. Another first took place this weekend when delegates from various Olympic committees in the world gathered here to discuss and further plan for the hosting of the Commonwealth Youth Games. The Bahamas is the choice of venue for the Games which will take place in 2017. These are some of the residual effects of us having the Games. Um, we have our first regional meeting of the Commonwealth Games, uh, the Caribbean and the Americas. Um, and I have to thank the Prime Minister because had we not won the bid, these things wouldn't, have, wouldn't be happening. And so we, we intend to have uh, a couple of more meetings, updates to our membership. But I'm very excited that the delegates received the Bahamas and we received them. And when we made our presentation, we got a lot of congratulations. And they think that we're on target to deliver one of the best Commonwealth Youth Games in its history. Our golfers are back from Montego Bay, Jamaica, where they participated in the Caribbean Amateur Golf Championships. The Bahamas placed fourth overall and will look to improve on the ranking when the golfers hit the greens right here in the 242 this July. This is the first time the championships is being played in two different countries. This was like the first year to where the championships were um, split because last year uh, we also um, had uh, the teams that will play um, later in July. <laughs> Um, also, also um, at the same um, tournament uh, venue, um, uh, but just to I guess well, um, um, I guess well, just like ease like the costs, um, uh, um, 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 I guess like of, of, of the host country, like the championships were split. The women's national basketball team will soon start training for the upcoming regional tournament. The Bahamas won the gold at last year's hosting and will look to duplicate the feat, but might just be without the services of John Quell Jones. Training camp and stuff. Um, I really don't even know when I'll be home soon, but I know we get a break for for the Olympics this year. So I think the team is, is um, I think they have to give us seven days at least. So I'll definitely be home within that time period sometime. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be able to go home and give back to everybody. So it's going to be great when I get a chance to actually come home. Well, that's all the time we have for sports. I'm Kelsey Johnson. This is ZNS Total Sports.